Welcome back to another edition of Swearing at the Internet with Joe. I'll be your host right here at my rant chair, smoking me a Lucky Strike cigarette, sorting the world's problems out, and trying not to be a crabby butthole today. So if you know anything about me, uh, I'm a firearms and freedom guy, that's what I do. It's always been my thing, I've been in the shooting sports, and had to carry a gun to save my life more than once, and I've, I've been involved with it 31 years and counting, and I'll die that way. I'll, I'll die armed and free, as we all should. Uh, Blind Sniper, if you don't know who he is, check him out. Uh, him and I have done a couple of collabs with some other gun channels. He's actually a pretty cool younger dude. He knows what's up. He brought up a very interesting point today about pistol whipping, and uh, I'd like to elaborate on it further. Now, anybody that knows me knows I uh, used to have to do some pretty icky shit to survive. You know, as part of being an adult and taking care of families and responsibilities. And my brother and I, you know, we're a lot alike that way. He grew up and got his life together and found Jesus, cleaned up and all that good shit, and then he died. I don't really feel bad about telling a story, and, uh, you know, can you pistol whip somebody with a polymer framed handgun? And the answer is yes. I know, I watched him do it. Now, it didn't damage the gun, but it did damage the magazine. Long and skinny end of it, somebody owed him some money, and uh, he caught up with him. Of course, my brother was a giant. He didn't need a handgun for any fucking reason. Like, he could reach out and snap your neck. <clears throat> and uh, shortly before his burglary charge, they ultimately sent him up the river, and how he ended up in the pen. Um, you know, he caught up with somebody who owed him like 20 bucks or something like that. Something stupid. And it had nothing to do really with the money. It had to do with the respect. And he happened to have had his first Glock. Uh, I think this is back in the day when 40 caliber Glocks were the thing because they were like 200 bucks used. So it's been a hot minute. But, you know, I was driving and he said, hey, that's that motherfucker there. So we pulled over and he got out of the car and said, hey, how's it going? And dude tried to run away and that was kind of a big mistake. And my brother proceeded to give him a uh, Doc Martin boot party. And uh, followed by, you know, shaking the guy down and he struggled a little bit. And my brother cracked him right on the top of his skull with his Glock that he happened to be carrying at the time. And it didn't hurt the gun itself, it hurt the magazine. So... The answer is, can you pistol whip somebody with a polymer-framed handgun? Yes, but it's going to fuck up your mag feed lips. Now, on a metal-framed gun, I don't know. I haven't really done much of that, so I couldn't tell you. You know, pistols aren't for pistol whipping. Pistols are for uh, getting to a long gun. So take that for what it's worth. But as always, right here, answering life's unanswerable questions... Sitting here in my rant chair, letting my cigarette burn my fingers and trying to get on with my day and not snap at mom for doing scummy, thievery things. I leave you with uh, some words of encouragement. Just when you think things can't get any worse, they will. So, enjoy the little moments in life. And uh, until we meet again, if you have a bunch of thieving fucks in your family, tell them to eat your shorts and they can't touch your gun collection. Because, you know, you can report them to the ATF for that. And as always, until we meet again, Monday can eat my shorts.